Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to slice your files using NetFab, um, a free program that you can do for both editing and viewing STL files. So as you can see here, we have Mr. Popular Left Shark from the Super Bowl, a Katy Perry favorite, and uh, I'm going to show you how to slice this. So if you don't already have NetFab or don't know anything about it, click on the link below uh, and it's going to take you to this link to be able to download NetFab. It's free, pretty easy to use, and really recommend it if you're working with STLs a lot. So after you do that, uh, you can come into NetFab, and we're going to go ahead and remove this file. Uh, and you go to Parts, Add, and we're going to search for our file, Left Shark, and there it comes. So the first thing you'll notice here is it tells us what that bounding box is. It's 180 millimeter by 205 by 160. And for PLA, this is a little too big for us. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut Left Shark in half uh, so that we have two halves that will print both faster and cheaper. Um, and then afterwards, we can glue or weld the parts together depending on the material. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the section called Cuts. And you can see that we can drag both the Y, the X, or the Z axis to make a plane to where we want to cut it. For this, this guy's a little too tall, so we're going to go ahead and just cut him uh, right down the center. You'll see I'm moving my Y here to about uh, the middle. I'm going to click on Execute Cut, and you'll see a plane comes up here. This is the plane where we're going to separate it. So we'll click Cut, and if we look at our tree now, we have two separate halves. So we have the bottom half, which is Left Shark Cut 2, and we have the top half, which is Left Shark Cut 1. And we can use this mating surface to either glue or weld the parts afterwards. So all that's left is we need to export these files uh, to then upload them to Fictive. So we will right click uh, over here and we'll say export part as STL. And sure, we'll, we'll create a new folder here called left shark. And we'll put cut one in there. And then go to left shark cut two. And we'll go over here, export as an STL, and we'll put them in there. And from there, you are done. You now just have to upload your files, and you can get as many left sharks as you want and have multiple. Let us know if you have any questions.